Hello. I just thought I would introduce some of the drawing materials that you will need to use in part one of the Milan Institute, uh, Milan Art Institute, uh, first part of the program, which is the oil painting and drawing part. Um, I said before not to kind of rush out and get a lot of materials because it's quite expensive. So I'm just kind of showing you some of the basics that you'll need um, to do the drawing part. Um, graphite and charcoal is very, very, um, well, it's, it's required. And I found the little pencil sets that you can get on Amazon, um, graphite, and it's um, graphite in different strengths, as you'll, you'll learn that through the, throughout the program. It's a little pack of pencils here, anywhere from an H, B to an 8 um, B, which is a, a very dark pencil, charcoal. And this is, um, these are water soluble too, so you can use them for when you're wanting to do a little bit of mixed media as well later on. Then I'll um, share with you, these are the, the uh, charcoal pencils, which are, well, no, sorry, water-soluble graphite sticks. I use these a lot because you can shave them. Um, you can use to do your backgrounds for your drawings, and they're just really handy to have. Um, and they go from anywhere from a 2B all the way up to a 12B, which is dark. Then, obviously, you'll use your your little tool here, a little paper. It's kind of like a smoothing tool, um, little nib there. And to go along with it, you'll need a, a bit of a, a uh, I would say it sharpens the tool, takes the, um, cleans it up quite a bit for your next project. It's a little sander. That usually comes along with your pencils as well. Um, then your, which you will use quite a lot throughout probably all the program, is your willow charcoal. Being very, 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 very soft, you can snap it and use it. Um, and uh, it's, it's a great little willow charcoal. Not very expensive to buy at all. You can order those on Amazon. Or you can order the harder sticks. Um, you might need this for some of your projects, and it goes all the way from soft to hard. You will also use your white charcoal, very handy to have. You will also use any of your kneaded putty erasers. These are really, really great. They get in and help you do a lot of detail when you're, when you're doing your drawings, and all you're doing is mixing it up to clean them up. <clears throat> you can buy them in large and small and different types of the um, putty rubbers. Then um, there's all sorts of other kinds of erasures you can get. There's numerous ones you can get. And the little uh, sander is very handy for those erasers as well because it kind of cleans them, keeps them clean. Um, when you start your new projects, you don't want all the charcoal mess from your last project. So th this is a great little tool. The other tool that you may, you will use a lot of is your measuring tool. This helps you with a great deal of your projects, any drawings, anything you're going to do. Um, and it's a proportion tool. So the small end, obviously, you work with it proportions it to a bigger size. Uh, this is my friend. <laughs> I use this for everything. You can get all sorts. The wooden ones are the best ones. So those are the drawing materials that you'll want to start out with. So there's not a lot of, of upfront investment with the drawing tools. Obviously, you need a good drawing paper. Uh, if you can get newsprint, that's really the best to use. So that's... Um, the extent of your drawing tools that you're really, really going to need. If you feel like you need to purchase other things throughout the part one of the course, the this is the least expensive part of the course. 
I'll go over in the next video, I'll go over with the, the kind of the oils and the acrylics that you need and um, some of the other um, supplies that you'll need throughout the part one of the program. Thanks for that and I'll see you later.